Hello, how are y'all doing? It's time for another edition of Way Back Wednesday. And today we're going to take a trip to France and we're going to look over some, some Salido models. Salido of France. Now what you're looking at right there is called a BMW Barquette. This is in the Junior Series. Salido made this in 1939. This is kind of a version of uh, the actual BMW 328. It's all die cast. Don't ask me why it has holes in the side of it because I could not tell you. It goes straight through. Take a look at the base. It's got little uh, little bolts stuck in it. It says Salido. This is my oldest Salido. It's got two seats in it and no steering wheel. It's got a metal bumper. It's really pretty cool. 1939 is when they made that. And you can see the, the kidney grills on the front of it. It's a BMW, that's for sure. The next one I've got is another of the Junior Series. This one was made in 1946. There's the holes in that one also. This one is called a Terra Vulture A. Alarion. I can't believe I got that out. Actually, it's a, it's a, they called it for short, a Tetra. And this was a Czechoslovakian model. Now, the guy that designed this car, he was a world-renowned uh, designer, and I cannot remember his name. Not, in, not that it's not important, but this car right here, uh, this guy was a friend of Hitler. And Hitler said that he wanted cars like this on his roads. And this, he told that to Ferdinand Porsche. So this car influenced the Volkswagen. And that was uh, in, the, in the mid to late 30s is when that happened. But that's a pretty cool looking car, isn't it? That was an actual car. It was riding around on the road in the late 30s. Let's look at the back of this one. The guy's name was Hans Ledwick or something like that, maybe. Salido. That's all that's all the text that's on there. 1946. A Tetra from Czechoslovakia. Got another junior car. Now, the juniors kind of went down. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry. Uh, the next one I've got is a junior series. And this was the last one they made in the series. They made it 1958. And this is a Rolls Royce Silver Cloud. Now, that looks like the Salidos of the, six, the 50s and 60s, the later ones, the 100 series. This is the last of the Junior series. One to 43rd scale. Let's look at the base on that. Still got the bolts on, on it, holding it together instead of uh, screws or rivets or, you know, or Salido. Now it's got the it's got the uh, shaped hubs on it, uh, like a, a dinky or corgi would have. That was 1958. Uh, no moving parts, but a nice, nice car. Nice one. Now I've got another one. This one is from the Mosquito series. 
and it's a little smaller. And this one was made in 1952. And this one is a Simca 8 Sport. 1952 from the Mosquito series. Now somebody's done a little painting on this one. But uh, you can see it's basic. It's got the same type base. And there's a, a bolt in it. And this is the 1 to 64 scale. And uh, it has metal wheels. It's all metal. Somebody did a little hand painting on it. Or brush painting, maybe. It's a Simca 8. That's another French car. All right, now we're going to get into the most popular Salido series. And one of the, probably, I, in my opinion, one of the coolest series made is the 100 series. And the first one I've got is a Van Wall Formula One racer. That's cool. Now, the other, the, the British companies, they made this also. Uh, Dinky made one. And this is the Salido version. And this one was made in 1958. And this is number 104. But that's cool. That's a cool car. Let's check out the base on that. Salido Van Wall F1. A nice one. Next one we've got. Got a convertible. This one is a Mercedes Benz 190 SL Cabriolet. And notice that driver. That's a male driver. He's got his little race, little hat on, taking a cruise. Pretty nice car there. Now you can see the wheels. They were just like the, the last of the Junior Series. And we're in the 100 series now. Salido, made in France. That's a cool one. The next one is another Cabriolet. And this one's got a lady driver in it. And this one is an Alfa Romeo Giulietta Spider. Sweet car right there. Isn't that nice? Got the nice looking female driver. There's the base. That was a restoration. Nice looking one, Alpha. Let's keep with the theme of the uh, convertibles. The next one, we've got a Peugeot 403. This one has a male driver. This one was also 1958. It's a nice, nice one there. Let's look at the base. Four oh three. These are really nicely made models. Another restoration. Peugeot four oh three. Alrighty, the next one, got another female, and she's driving a Renault Floride Cabriolet. This one is number 109. 
Also, uh, this one was made in 1959. The last one I showed you was also 1959. That's a nice, nice model there. Check out the base on that. Made in France. Pretty cool. A Renault. Another French car. And we've got one more Cabriolet. Got another lady driver in this one. This one is a Simca O'Sheen Cabriolet from 1959. Pretty cool little car. O'Sheen or Ocean Simca. Another French company. No Fords or GMs in that country. Not at that time. And we've got one more I'm going to show you. This one. Also 1959. is an Aston Martin 3 liter DBR1. That's a cool, that's a cool car there. Looks like the early Dinkies and uh, Crescent toys, also of Great Britain. I'll be showing you a line of those for too long. Aston Martin. Now this one's a little on the rough side. It's been scruff. It's a little scruffy. This is a restoration possibility. So while we've got this one on there, I'm going to show you another version. Well, it's actually the same. It's actually the same car. You can look at it. It's made identical. But this one was made by a different company with the same dies and put together the same way. And this one was made in Spain by a company called Dahlia. And it's got Spanish text at the bottom. Aston Martin, three liter. Made the same. Now, Dahlia, they're an old company in Spain, toy company. And what they did is uh, they partnered with Salido. And Salido got the license to sell their toys in Spain. It's the same car, same casting. Actually, the driver's a little bit different. It's made in the same time frame. And it's a pretty cool race car right there. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed sharing my collection with you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And stay tuned next week for another Way Back Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.